Uh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here I am with another Lego Bionicle review for Throwback Thursday, of course. And this one's on the Matorna Voyanui from 2006, of course. So, first up is Balta. And, well, little thing to note that with these Matorna Voyanui, that the most common things that there are are just bunch of rehashes of existing pieces and the main masks used to which are the uh, masks of the telemetry which you'll see throughout this review of course so for Balta here so but now specifically for Balta here is that are the legs of which which are just the uh, dark red Borak legs or Borak feet and the Metrumatorn like pieces is there as usual. And then upwards of which we have a couple of silver Borak eye pieces kind of hanging downwards. I'm not sure why, but whatever. And then the body piece of which just a traditional Borak foot piece, which connecting with a Metru head piece with a Vakama Metru's mask, of course. But although, and also with all these uh, Matorn sets, is not at all any uh, eye stock piece to be there. Uh, since, of course, to uh, cut down piece count and cost and things. And also, if it were there, it would kind of get in the way of head movement. And also, this whole build also does so. So, can't get him to look upwards for that. I think could have built it like the uh, Metrumatorian, but or maybe a whole differently entirely. But that's just me, but yeah. And as for the back part of which, which is just Tetnipus holding on to a Viserac limb piece from the year prior, of course. And then also holding the, and of course, the uh, Toemetru lower arms as actual, as just regular arms then. And then also the hand connector pieces in uh, Keat Orange, I think. Yeah, Keat Orange. Or as, or otherwise just orangish yellow, uh, of course. And then wielding Liwanuva's katanas for that. So if you like missed out on Lee Maneuva, this is which good way to get that, of course. Or at least extend upon it for mocking or whatever. And that's about it with Balta. And now on to Dalu. Of which the water Matoran of this Matoran bunch seems a little too no different than that, but actually kind of a uniquely shaped kind. Or unique bits to her. Like for her legs, which are just the uh, Borak foot pieces, but in silver, like we saw in the Borak call, and leg pieces also from there as well. And then when the double joint or double socket joint uh, from the Toa Metru line, well, Metru and Hodika and Vaki from the years prior, and connecting to another uh, Borak foot piece, which some most of the sets will have. And also the Borok eye pieces, but in trans blue to give a little bit of extra blue texture to her. And then as for the and then backside, which just another double socket that holding these extra Borok limbs and hands, and also these light staves. Because as her main weapons. And then as for the mask piece, which which is obviously like Toa no Kama Metru's mask, but but just but however it's actually in a different brighter shade than that set for that. So out of all of these Batoran sets, only one that's a little bit of variation to it. Kinda interesting, but yeah. And next to which uh Pyrock. Which kind of be a little similar, but a little bit different than most of the uh, than the rest, or the same as the rest, of course. And legs of which, just the same as Balta's, but with dark green, of course, but but mostly dark green throughout him. And instead of Borak eye teeth, it is this uh, double this technic bit in the center, of course. And further upwards is another Borak foot 
with the with actually not two but four of Orak eye tooth or eye tooth pieces covering both the uh, body area and the shoulder area. So probably make it kind of pop a bit more, which I like. And then the mask of which just um just a Matau Metru's mask, of course. In the arms of which, which are just again, uh, Matoran or Metru Matoran limbs, and heading out to Onua Metru or Onua Mata's claws. There, and of course, probably make it similar to Paraka Zaktan's, uh, what, it's a flick blade, which has three uh, claw blades on it, of course. But yeah, and that is it with Pyrock. And now to Kazi, which, as you can see, he looks quite different than the rest of it. Which, and as you already saw, there. Do you like the legs of which, which are actually just made of uh, Hordika head pieces and have the white uh, Borok feet there. And then the uh, body piece of which, which is actually a Hordika arm piece in white, like we saw on Nuju Hordika the year prior, and also the bright trans or light blue, translucent blue uh, Borok eyes, but to represent a bit of icy bits to him, since all ice characters tend to do so. And then as for the uh, backside, which just another double socket uh, joint piece, and also like Balta, the Metru lower arms and going out to Rakshi Gurak uh, staff pieces, which is kind of a good choice for him, but although I think uh, the Kurak uh, staff pieces could have worked out better to be more icy, but whatever. And also the piece that this piece that also carried on into Generation 2 as well, but yeah. And as for the Maskowitch, which is just a uh, just Nudu Metru's uh, mask piece, but in the headpiece of which, which actually isn't really a headpiece. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and again. Anyway, as for the uh, headpiece here, which is just a light gray uh, socket hand piece, but used as a headpiece, so weren't able to figure out how to use a metro head for this one. So kind of neat, kind of interesting how that is, but gives a lot of empty space in the back, but yeah. So I guess that is about it with Kazi. And down to Velika. Which obviously kind of similar build to most of the rest. But of course in brown and light gray, of course. And also this year, 2006, was the last time of seeing brown, of course. <coughs> like the legs of which, the same build as Pyrock and Balta, but with the brown foot pieces like we saw on, or on, yeah, uh, Rahaga Pooks from the year prior, of course. And then, then the torso piece, also Borok foot piece, and also have the Borok eye tooth pieces, but in a trans orange, which adding a bit of extra color to him. Then the mask of which, just Odiwa Metru's mask. And again, no eye socket piece in there. Then as for the arms of which, which kind of interesting build to them. Just a socket joint and also two uh, Hordika head pieces it's going in at both ends. And also holding uh, Wenua Metru's uh, digger blades, of course. So, excellent reuse of that piece for this. Then, the side which is, has it all connected on one little rod for that thing. <coughs> and that's about it with Velika. Then, lastly, Garan. Which, of course, same build as most of the rest as most of the bunch, but in gray and black, of course. Well, everything else just the same as Velika, but, and, but again, black, and also the 
back toothpiece in silver instead of trans orange and and the weapon is actually a, a, a kick and hollow style light stave for that so kind of a good cheap way to get that of course and of course the mask being when you a metro's uh, mask piece and and then oh what else is there not much or nothing else much but yeah and so now on to the final verdict once I get these all in. Okay, so overall, I think these are so overall, I think these are quite good sets. It's full for the time and still kind of holding up. Since they would since these are which were like around five to six dollars back in two thousand six. It's quite good for how they were. Of which also serving as like good parts packs and things. Things and also Nice to see the reuses of the uh, Toa Metru mask pieces, even though kind of like that of the uh, Tahunga sets in 2001. And of course, and of course, although most of the builds may be quite repetitive, but Kazi's of which is quite the most uh, unique amongst that. Which same kind of trend with uh, Duperu in, 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 in the Anika line later in this year, 2006. But yeah. And also, also one of the last full sets of the Torn that we would ever get to see until 2008 9, of course. Was, unless if the two Matorn and Karzani kind of counted as a full set of the Torn, but whatever. But still, the uh, size that they were, kind of a sign of the times where you got plenty of good stuff for a cheap price, but yeah. And also storyline wise, kind of nice to have alongside the Paraka as the slaves to them in, across Voya Nui, of course. <coughs> and so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who are still looking to get these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.